Hey, what is up? Hashtag Silent Mount Squad. I am fighting a little bit of a cold, but that is not going to stop me from opening this absolutely beautiful Elite Trainer Box that was officially released today. As you can see, this is going to be the Hidden Fates Pokemon trading card elite trainer box and unlike other elite trainer boxes this one actually comes with 10 packs rather than eight and you're going to get a premium uh promo card which usually i don't believe you get promo cards in these uh elite trainer boxes and it is actually that stained glass um birds card that is highly sought after and was one of the staples of the japanese sets so you get the player's guide, which is going to have all of the beautiful cards, and it really showcases all the shinies. And this is something, I usually don't hold on to the player guides, but this is something that I really might hold on to just because I want to check off like all the amazing cards that I've pulled and what cards I really want. Um, as you can see, that amazing Charizard up there. Everybody wants the Charizard. Um, I've only actually opened 26 packs i've opened three pin or two pin collections and five tins um so these 10 packs will be, make it an official 36 packs and then once this is opened i will have officially opened what you could say is a makeshift booster box and uh i mean just look at that promo card um i don't know if some people are going to keep it sleeved i plan to buy another box so i am going to um open this uh, if I do find other boxes, I mean, I'm definitely going to buy them. I mean, you get 10 packs. It's just a really good deal. Um, finally, Newberry Comics was selling something for less than market value, at least. A lot of these high-end uh, retailers, second-hand retailers, are selling them for incredibly high prices, like upwards of $100, but $80+. Plus. This was only selling for about $65, so I did get it for a reasonable price. But look at that stained glass promo card. It's an absolutely beautiful promo card. And these sleeves are very nice, too. Um, I might use some of these sleeves just because these are some incredible-looking sleeves. Like, you got to put the three birds in the stained glass in the sleeve. I mean, look at that sleeve. But this is an absolutely stunning card. It was a card that I really wanted to get when I opened the Sky Legends Japanese booster box. But unfortunately, did not pull it. Um, here is just the energy cards. No need to really open those. Um, you got your pack dividers for the uh, the booster box or the elite trainer box. So, like, put your deck there. And uh, this is going to be the um, elite trainer box full uh, code card. So whoever gets that, you are one lucky duckling. Now we've got ten packs. And uh, let's make sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 packs. Um, how many Mews, Mewtwo's, and Birds are we going to have? It looks like, uh, wow, so it looks like Mew and Mewtwo are the most packs. we got three Mews, three Mewtwo's, um, and then two Charizards, and two Trio Birds. So, without further ado, I think what I'm going to do is save the Charizards for last and go from Mew a Mewtwo to Mew and down. So we got three shiny Mewtwo's on the bucket. So I'm really looking for um, a nice, I would really be happy with like a Cynthia card. Um, I'm not huge on the gold cards. I know people really do like the gold cards. The gold cards just personally, uh, I'm trying to cover the, the code card, or like the QR card, but I'll try to get better at that. Um, the Gold cards aren't my favorite. I would really like a nice shiny, like uh, a dark eye shiny would be awesome. A Reshiram shiny, of course that Charizard shiny. Uh, but really, whatever we get today, I'm going to be happy with, as long as we definitely pull some nice, cool, shiny cards. So in Ekans, also there are two regular GXs that I've not pulled out of the set yet, which include the Charizard GX, regular, and the Wigglytuff. So those are two cards that I would also like to pull to work on completing the set. So a Koga's Trap and a Mr. Mime. Covering the QR code. So l luckily, like, this was the only uh, Newberry Comics 
like this was this was the only one that they had that the lady at the shop said they only got one in which was surprising to me this is why the cards are worth so much money because the, the pokemon community or the the card company is not giving people enough product to sell and that's why they have to sell for so much psyduck and uh slow poke regular rare and a clefable i'm really hoping that the luck is really good on these elite trainer boxes um i don't really know what the uh standard amount of like cards are that they give you like good card wise i don't know if there's like a c for how many they're supposed to give you but um the last time that i opened up an elite trainer box i did pull like five good cards um including a reshiram charizard full art there's a misty's determination luck sadly not the rainbow rare one but it was a very nice card to pull nonetheless a paris cubone and there we go the first full art shiny is a tor tontor uh gx um beautiful looking card uh and then the back uh, i thought we were gonna double up but that's an awesome looking card when i saw the shine coming up i really thought it was going to be that charizard and i got really really excited but this is actually the first non-duplicate that we have pulled because i believe we've only pulled the greninja twice so that is very nice to get a different looking full art and the beauty is we still got seven packs left. Usually, like, you'd be near the halfway point on this pack. But we got we got seven packs to go. Oh, oop, QR card. Sorry. Somebody commented to, to have me try to, like, work on doing that. Um, so I'm really trying to do that. A Giovanni's Exile. I'd really love a Cynthia. Like, that. that's just an awesome card. Coughing. Paris. Cubone. Fisherman full art card. You're kidding and then a Charizard GX. That's a back-to-back -back pack. That was one of the cards I was really looking to pull. I mean, not to like overshadow this Fisherman, but holy cow, that's a beautiful full art card. Like that is a very nice full art card and into the Charizard GX. So that those are two very nice cards. It wasn't the Cynthia, but it could have been a draw like a Cynthia. Like that's the the card slot that Cynthia would be in, but the Fisherman is very beautiful, and I'm not upset with that at all, and especially this Charizard. That's one that I really wanted, and that's selling for, for a few bucks a pop because it's a Charizard. It's a very hard one to pull. Not a lot of people pull it. What you normally pull is like the Pinsor, the uh, Gyarados, the Onix, um, and the Starmie. The two hard ones, at least, that I've noticed to pull are like the Whimsicott, or not Whimsicott, the Wigglytuff, and the Charizard especially. I don't see many people pulling that Charizard. So, uh, Steel Energy, Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, which just got an evolution. Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander. Ooh, Shiny Ryalu, yes. Very nice looking card. Shiny Charmander is another one that's really hard to pull that I would like to pull. And uh, Kangaskhan, but another Shiny that we have not pulled. So this is... This is a very nice opening so far. We've had three packs in a row that have really delivered goods. I'm a big fan of the Ryalu. Any Pokemon that get like a gold shiny, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of. So we just hit the halfway point of the pack. And I mean, why not showcase the pulls that we've gotten on the halfway point? I mean, we've got a Ryalu, shiny Charizard GX, a Fisherman Full Art, and a Tortontor, Tortontor uh, GX Full Art Shiny. What a great first half to this box. I mean, that's like, those are like the really good cards you pull out of a regular booster box. Like, let alone, this is an elite trainer box. Like, ooh, er, sorry. You're not usually pulling these, these incredible cards out of an elite trainer box. So, Sabrina's Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Oh, yes, a shiny Poplio, or Poplo. I don't think I've pulled this one. And if I have, this is definitely a good one to double up on. Because that's, I mean, look at that. It's gold, it's a cute little alien, psychic alien. Perfect little alien to pull on the Area 51 raid day. So, a little shout out to Poplio. I don't think I've pulled that one. And that is worth a few bucks. Uh, one I'd really like to pull is the Wooper. The pink on that Wooper is just... Stunning. So hopefully that covers it up. And let me know what you're getting in these uh, code cards. I'd love to hear if somebody actually pulls a Charizard from from the code card that I give them. But uh, let's get this going. Scyther, Jinx, Scyther, 
shiny and the scissor full art shiny are both very cool graveler voltorb geodude eevee clefairy caterpie jinx and ooh, a brock's training holographic probably my favorite holographic of the bunch um the jesse and james is also very cool but that is very nice i'm actually gonna divvy it up and put the second half pulls over here even though i don't think you can really top that first half with like so many incredible pulls but we'll, we'll try we'll give it we'll give it our all i mean dang, i keep forgetting to cover the qr code i mean if you pull a charizard like it's game over that's like the best you can do giovanni's exile koga's trap pikachu magikarp coughing clefairy star you this should be the shiny mr mime and a giovanni's exile very nice full art card sadly not worth a lot of money and i have already pulled him um but it's nice to see him again his slot can also you can also pull a full art jesse and james um which i would love to do but well, we're down to our last two packs and the two Charizard packs. I'm going to say this pack is going to have something really good in it. And I hope it does. I don't want to end on a dud after such an incredible box. But, like, this is what it would feel like to open up um, one of the GX shiny packs in Japanese. Just all the pulls. Like, you're constantly getting good pulls. I mean, you're guaranteed to GX in every one of those packs. Magmar, Charmeleon. Let's get one more shiny. A Cubone. Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy. Metal Energy is also cool. I will take that because these energies, I would like to collect all of them. And a regular rare Mew. But so far, that first half, those first, those last three packs in the first half really kill it. I mean, we're going to be up to like 10 cards that got sleeve. Um, so the goal is definitely for something good on this. Oh, no, hit the camera. Goal is definitely for something good in this last pack. So. Come on, shiny Charizard. Please. I know it's super hard to pull. It's like one out of 500 packs or something like that. And I've only opened this will be my 36 pack. This is officially one booster box opened on this channel. And here's to many more. It's just so hard to get these packs. Brock's Grid, Misty Cerulean City Gym, A Chansey, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb. So no shiny Charizard, but we can still pull something good on the end and a Vaporeon Holographic. So, I mean, out of 10 packs, and you're telling me we pulled like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then if you count the promo card, we got 10 good pulls. There were basically no dud packs. I mean, of course there were, but not a lot considering. So let's, let me just shuffle these around. And I will get us a recap of the beautiful cards that we managed to pull here today. And no duplicates of anything that I have pulled besides that Giovanni's Exile. And I mean, can you even really complain when you get a full art card? So we did get a Steel Energy Reverse, uh, like shiny Reverse Holographic, a Vaporeon Holographic, Brock's Training Holographic, a Poplo, or Pop, Pop Oil little alien boy shiny a rylu shiny card the charizard gx sadly it's not the official charizard shiny gx but it is still a beautiful card to pull nonetheless a uh, giovanni's exile full art a fisherman full art which is that's like some of the artwork on these new full art cards is just next level a, t a turtonator uh, GX full art shiny and of course the st the stealer of the show I mean like this is why I bought this and I if I buy another I'm going to keep it sleeved in its original packaging but we have a Moltres Zapdos and Articuno weird that they do it backwards Moltres Zapdos Articuno instead of Articuno Moltres or Zapdos Moltres like Uno Dos Tres but whatever in the steel uh I don't know why I keep saying steel in the full art promo card Sky Legends stained glass birds and that is just a beautiful card i'm really happy pokemon put this as a promo card so i wouldn't have to go searching endlessly for it because as you know i don't have the greatest luck with pulling some of those big name cards that we need but that is a fat stack of cards to go into the binder and one day i will do a showcase of the binder and all my great pulls that i've had over the years not just on youtube but in general but thank you guys so much for watching I look forward to getting more Elite Trainer Boxes in the future, and I will see you in the next video.